is my 1956 uh, Thunderbird Roadster finished in colonial white with a white porthole hardtop, a black hearts cloth canvas soft top, black and white interior. And the canvas soft top and the hard top are both pictured in the pictures which accompany the video. Uh, this T-Bird underwent a frame-off, ground-up, rotisserie, every nut and bolt, professional restoration, which took four years and was undertaken and by Hibernia Restorations, which is one of the very high end of the high end restoration shops. Uh, I acquired it from a collector who acquired it from the wife of the owner that had it done. His objective I understand and having it done was not how much, only how good. And this is truly the best baby bird I have ever owned in my life and maybe one of the best of the best that's out there. Uh, it has the wide white wall tires, the correct Ford scripted wire wheel covers, automatic trans, Ford automatic transmission, town and country radio, it even has the Astro Dome over the, um, over the speedometer, uh, telescopic steering wheel, full instrumentation, town and country radio. The electric clock is even fully functional. I have the original owner's manual. The radio has been converted internally to AM, FM, but the original town and country 57 appearance is still as it should be. The interior is the best of the best. It has the four-way power seats. Sam, look at the uh, uh, the seals in here. If they, um, stainless seals look new. It's only because they are. Every piece of rubber on the interior and the exterior around the doors and elsewhere has been uh, fully replaced. Even the plated nuts in the in the door jam. Yes. Uh, Hibernia uh, painted with a very, very small brush. I've never seen one restored to this extent or to this cost. But it wasn't a question, again, of how much, only how good. This is uh, the receipt portfolio uh, that it was a four-year uh, restoration project fully completed in uh, 1919. I ran an adding machine tape on all of the progress payments from uh, from Hibernia and it was $255,630. But it is all there. I mean everything that was done is fully documented which takes all of the guesswork out of what effort uh, was undertaken and to what extent. The Continental kit, uh, I believe, adds to the beauty and the line of the car. The Continental kit is um, very accessible. When adding gas or opening the trunk, Every piece of rubber, as you can see, from the rubber moldings around the trunk to the rubber tips. And if we move some of these spares to the side. It looks brand new. No, it <laughs> better, than better than new. Yeah. Ford couldn't spend this much <laughs> building one. Oh, yeah. But that is absolutely incredible. Wow. The gas is added here so you can be on either side of the gas tank um, and be safe. Rear fender skirts and the fender shields. Um, again, the, uh, the factory correct wire wheel covers that are Ford scripted on the center cap. I love the look of the exhaust ports, um, which were unique to the 56s that actually came out of the sides of the bumper 
unlike the 55s or the 57s. If you look down the sides of this, as you might expect, it is absolutely laser straight. The sill plates, as well as everything else, the door panels, the uh, machine turned look of the dash, uh, uh, is just the best of the best. Again, Ford couldn't afford to spend the money uh, that Mr. Harris did on the restoration. Included is the original 1956 Ford owner's manual. That's not a repro. And there's also a, uh, a portfolio of the restoration pictures, which is included. Many vintage T-Bird aficionados believe that the 56s were the were some of the most interesting and most beautiful because they had the purest lines of the 55s with the enhancements of the side uh, air vents, the 12 volt electrical system, uh, the Continental kit. Sam, the engine compartment uh, is finished to the highest standards and is ready to be shown tomorrow. It's the 312 um, uh, Thunderbird V8 Special with 245 horsepower, four barrel carburation, dual exhaust system. Um, of course, the engine compartment was, uh, was completed to show quality standards during the uh, rotisserie restoration. Uh, as you can see, all of the uh, hoses are, uh, are Ford coated. There are, uh, the, the hose camps, clamps are all correct. Um, we see the old glass bowl uh, fuel filter uh, that confirms there's gas in the line. Uh, decals on uh, all of the uh, components. There is a battery shut off. The wiring from the front bumper to the back bumper, including all of the uh, Coated wiring is all new. Uh, we have the uh, C-Clear windshield washer system, which is intact, uh, shut off on the battery. Chrome engine dress-up kit, which includes the, uh, the air filter and several other components, along with the, uh, the beautiful uh, uh, polished valve covers. And this one also has a functional scoop, doesn't it? The scoop works. Uh, good observation. That, uh, that scoop is fully functional. It's far more than just a cosmetic item, although it's beautiful uh, as well. But you could lick the firewall uh, of this engine compartment. It is absolutely show quality. Look at the finish on the anodized finish on all of the bolts. Uh, quite often, the closer you look at some of these, the more deficiencies uh, become apparent, but on this one, the opposite of that is true. The closer you look, the better it gets. Beautiful. The fan is running. I think so. The fan, the fan again is moving. Sam, I have owned and enjoyed and shown many, many baby birds. 
over the years. Uh, they are my favorites. And um, this one is by far head and shoulders above anything I've ever uh, had a chance to experience. Uh, it is truly the very best of the best. And uh, uh, as good as it looks, it drives and handles even better. Let me turn off that courtesy light. Uh, all of the gauges were fully restored. As you can see, the clock um, has been upgraded internally to um, uh, Electronic. electronics. Uh, the tack is fully functional, as are the the other gauges. Look at the machined um, style uh, front dash and how beautiful the padded dashes and the padded visors and how beautiful the steering wheel is having been recast. Every piece of chrome and bright work interior and exterior down to the hood latch has been uh, triple plated. Um, well, Norm, I agree with you. I don't think that you can find a better car if you bought it on the showroom floor in 1956. Now, why? And that's Ford couldn't spend what was invested in the restoration of this car. It shows. Every piece of glass on it is new, and as you can see, it is. they are all Ford scripted. You see that on the wing windows? Yeah, I do. That's yeah, awesome. And in addition to the receipt portfolio that we reviewed yesterday that totaled 255k, here we have photos of the various restoration phases. Uh, so this takes all of the guesswork out of what was done and when and by whom, uh, and of course all of this accompanies the car. Let's take it out for a drive. Oh, it is nice and tight. The steering, the brakes, the transmission shifting. Um, you know, as you might expect, uh, you know, the mileage on it is uh, showing 3,100, which are the break-in miles since the restoration was completed. It was about a four-year restoration uh, project at Hibernia. And... Uh, then the invoices confirmed there was a few shakedown issues that were addressed following the restoration during the break-in miles. What a beautiful day for an open car. I was just thinking the same thing. It was awesome. I just texted a photo of this car just a second ago to a girlfriend and she said, boy, a, a beautiful blonde would really look good in that car. <laughs> Sam, was she blonde? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. we may take this with another blonde uh, that I have a date with this evening up to Roswell. Oh, uh, we're call. trying uh, some dinner at a lovely Italian restaurant up there, Osteria Matone, I think it is. That's beautiful. Yeah. Sixes have such a beautiful, unique look and line uh, with the Continental kit and the fender skirts and the wire wheel covers and the Colonial white. Um, now, if Ford built this car today, uh, you know, I'm sure this car would be selling easily for 150k. Um, with the detail, the design, and the all-steel body, the fiberglass version that they came up with several years back was just not very well received. No, they really missed with that one. You know, they were trying to replicate this, and um, I think they fell short.
uh, kind of lost their way in the process of doing that. The transmission just shifted from low to high and very easy, comfortable shift. Front end is nice and tight, of course it's all new. What I like about these classics is it, they do not drive like a brand new car, like a car of today. You know, with electronic steering and everything else, that you have you get real true road feel in a car like this. I agree. And it's a whole and from a different era, and it's so beautiful to drive. And it is a different. You're, that's very well put. It is a different exper driving experience, and one that I fondly recall, and um, that we don't get today with the with the rack and pinion steering and all of that other good stuff. Well, as the Porsche guys, the Porsche guys are always complaining about the updated steering that it's all electronic, there's no road feels. 